Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in memory management that is memory allocation methods. So in our previous session, we have seen different memory allocation techniques like uh, uniprogramming and uh, multiprogramming. I'm coming to the multiprogramming. We have seen uh, two different types of uh, memory allocation techniques, contiguous and non-contiguous. So where in the contiguous, the contiguous memory blocks will be allocated and uh, it is not being done in non-contiguous. So, and again, in the contiguous, we have seen the fixed partitions and uh, variable partitions and coming to the non-contiguous segmentation and paging. So, we have seen the complete introduction about uh, memory allocation techniques, but in today's session, we'll see how many ways or what are the methods the memory will be allocated to the process. So, those we call it as a memory allocation methods. So after this, we will go with each of the memory allocation techniques, right? So without delay, let us start. Memory allocation methods. So there are uh, possible methods, three methods are there where uh, the memory will be allocated to the process. So one is, first fit first fit another one is best fit another one is worst fit so actually the complete memory will be divided into different blocks so we know that the primary memory particularly the primary memory okay will be divided into two parts one is a os another one is a user space user space and this user space will be divided into different partitions that may be fixed partitions or variable partitions now we have studied that this will be the physical uh, i mean secondary storage okay this is the secondary storage so where the, uh, the processes should be loaded into these particular user spaces so we have to allocate this particular partition to the process so the process should be loaded into the main memory so this is a main memory so that from this main memory the cpu will be executing that particular process now these are the methods fast fit best fit and worst fit are the three different methods how many ways or how we have we are moving or allocating this particular partition to the process so let it be let is p1 and p2 p1 and p2 process 1 and post process 2 on what basis we are just moving this process to the main memory that's a methods first first fit best fit and worst fit so coming to the first fit we have to select the first partition first partition that is enough to accommodate accommodate the process accommodate the process so among all the partitions we need to select the first partition so where the process can be accommodated okay and coming to the best fit so here least partition which can accommodate a process so here the least means based upon the size least size okay least size so with respect to size and coming to the worst which is an op opposite to the best fit that is a maximum partition we need to select a maximum partition where process can be accommodated so these are the three different methods in the first of it 
we need to select the first partition where the process can be accommodated in the best of it among all the uh, memory partitions we need to select the least size partition where a process have to be accommodated coming to the worst case we need to select the maximum partition where the process can be accommodated okay so this is the difference these are the three different methods how a process can be allocated to the memory i mean a memory can be allocated to the process sorry so let us see a small example so we will take uh, a memory blocks the capacity of the memory block and the process so how can we accommodate in first fit best fit and worst fit right see here uh, we have taken a simple example so these are the memory blocks the size of the partitions okay let it be a variable partition okay imagine that this is a variable partition so the partition sizes are 100 kb 500 kb 200 kb 300 kb and 600 kb so based upon that we have taken the three diagrams one is for first fit best fit and worst fit and next one is a process sizes so there are four processes we have taken so let it be p1 p2 p3 and p4 so there are four processes of different uh, sizes so p1 with the 212 kb p2 with the 417 kb p3 is 112 kb and p4 is 426 kb now the question is how can we accommodate this process into the memory blocks which will be selected okay so coming to the first bit as we said that the first bit always select the first partition where which uh, the process can be accommodated first let us take this uh, process p1 212 so check here this is a partition with 100 kb so 212 so 100 kb is a first partition so 212 can't be accommodated in 100 kb so it will move on with the second partition so 500 kb 212 kb can be accommodated in 500 kb so process 1 will be moved into this particular partition so this memory will be allocated for p1 okay and next 417 first partition 100 kb not uh, it is not possible to accommodate 500 kb already p1 is accommodated here next 112 so uh, sorry sorry 417 200 we can't accommodate 417 in 200 next 300 417 can't can't be accommodated in 300 not possible next 417 can be accommodated in 600 so p2 will be loaded into this particular partition and similarly 112 so coming to the third process 112 which cannot be accommodated in 100 500 is already available i mean already accommodated 200 yes 112 can be accommodated in 200 so p3 will be loaded into this partition next 426 first partition so always first bit will be uh, assigning the first partition only so 426 can't be accommodated in 100 kb moves to the third one 300 426 can't be accommodated in 300 kb so here p4 can't be accommodated here <coughs> and one more thing you can observe p1 is 212 and almost 288 kb of space is a wasted here okay p p1 is only of size 212 and what about the remaining 288 kb memory so that will be wasted here okay so that that's the main drawback of this particular first fit okay so memory there will be a possibility of uh, internal fragmentation internal fragmentation means memory wastage okay much memory will be wasted here and moving on to the best fit what we have said so the least partition based upon the size least partition which can accommodate the thing so first one is 212 so 212 can be accommodated in 500 kb 300 kb and 600 kb see 212 kb process can be accommodated by this partition either this or this among this which one we have to select we have to select the least size partition what is the least size 300 500 300 600 300 is the least size partition so p1 will be accommodated by this particular partition okay so we need to select the least partition in with respect to the size next 417 417 can be accommodated with 500 and a 600 among these two which one is the least this one so p2 will be accommodated by 
this partition. Next, 112. So, 112 can be accommodated in 200 as well as 600. So, if, if P3 is accommodated in 600, much amount of memory will be wasted. Much amount of memory. So, we are selecting the least one that is 200. So, P3 will be accommodated here. And P4, 426. So, only one partition which can hold this P4. So, assigning P4 to 600 here. So, this is the best way. This is the best way. But, it will be very slow process. Okay. In first feed, the memory will be wasted. In best of it, the memory utilization will be very effective, but it will be the very slow process. Coming to the worst fit, so instead of selecting the least address or least uh, partition with respect to size, we are selecting the highest partition with respect to size. So just quite opposite to the best fit. For example, 212. So 212 can be accommodated in 500 KB, 300 KB and 600 KB. So, we need to select the highest. So, in 600 KB, P1 will be accommodated. Okay. Quite opposite to the best fit. Okay. Next, 4, 417. 417 can be accommodated in only 500. So, obviously, P2 will be here. Next, 112. 112 can be accommodated in 100, 200 or 300. So, sorry, 100 is not possible. Either 200 or 300. So, among these two, which one is the largest? 300. So, we need to assign P3 in largest partition. Next, 426. So, there is no partition which can accommodate the 426 KB. So, this is also a drawback. So, here it is not effective, not efficient. It is not efficient and much amount of memory will be wasted. You can see here P1, 212 and we are giving 212, we are moving this 212 process to the 600 KB. So that means a lot of memory will be wasted than the first fit or a best fit. Okay, so a lot of memory will be wasted. So that is a drawback here. And this is a effective, the memory utilization will be effective, but a slow process because we have to compare everything. And here, it is also not possible because much more much memory will be wasted here also fragmentation internal fragmentation is more and here also internal fragmentation will be more so these are the different memory allocation methods how the process can be accommodated to the memory how the memory will be allocated to the process in what type of methods the first fit best fit and worst fit right so hope you understood this concept memory allocation methods three methods and uh, if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.